Okay, I purchased this on Amazon from the UCK Assay Fee Store, you can see up top, uh, for $90. And I'll provide the link in the video description. It arrived in uh, two days, quick shipping, and it was well packaged and everything in the box that you see here was included. Several suppliers uh, do a box that looks real similar to this. And I happened to choose this one uh, because it had very good reviews with uh, almost no negative comments on Amazon. Came with a good instruction manual. And between the specifications in the instruction manual and those printed on the box, all the information that you need is covered. Okay, I'm just testing this little DC power distribution box that I got. Uh, that's the manual for it. And what I've got here is a 100 amp hour mini. Rododo uh, 12 volt battery that's charged up uh, fully charged 13.4 volt. I used a, a NOCO charger for that and um, tested it on here um, And I'm plugged in and what you can see on this thing here is it's got three uh, cigarette lighters. It's got a, a voltmeter Let's see what it says 13.2 volts is what it's saying right now and it's got this uh, light here that you can Turn on to three different settings. And um, then down here we've got 2.1 amp regular USB A's. We got a, a USB C. This says PD, so power demand 18 watts. And then a uh, quick charge 3.0. Okay, you can see that it is delivering 35 watts, and that is through the uh, PD 18W. Uh, USB-C, which the specs say uh, go up to 9 volts and 35 watts, so exactly what the specs says it should. That's good. Let's start with the power specifications that are printed right on the box. They're a little bit more accurate. It says uh, voltage 12 volts, but it handles uh, lithium um, iron phosphate uh, batteries also, which are, you know, full charge 13.6 to 14.6. And so this battery state of charge that you see down here at the bottom, uh, that is really for a lead acid, 12.7 volts, 100. That's almost empty for a lithium. So we can ignore that using it for a lithium. Up here at the top, it's got a maximum current uh, with the three cigarette sockets uh, of 30 amps. And it's got a fuse internal, and it also has a spare inside. So that's fantastic. Uh, we'll see when we look at the instruction manual sheet that each one of those actually can flow 15 amps and so individually uh, let's say it was a 13 uh, volt uh, 15 amps uh, we're talking 205 watts which is great and plenty to run a uh, diesel heater okay the next thing it has is these Anderson 50 amp uh, input output it's got one that's um, hardwired uh, that I'm using on this test to connect to my battery but then it has two input outputs and the combined amongst all of them can be 50 amps input or 50 amps output and here's what's nice uh, it has an auto reset circuit breaker already built into this unit so if it heats up it'll trip the circuit breaker and then when it cools back down uh, from exceeding 50 amps it resets itself the nice thing about that is if you were using this uh, three big 50 amp Anderson uh, connections to uh, maybe connect a battery and a power station you don't have to provide a separate fuse or circuit breaker for your battery uh, to protect the line because this thing has already got a circuit breaker built right into it and here we got the specifications for the USB A which are 5 volt there's four of them 2.1 amps so that's about 11 watts feeding those and then we've got two more specialty USB. We've got a USB-C. That thing is labeled PD18 watt. And you can see that it says at 5 volts, you're going to get 18 watts out of that. And at 9 volts, it can negotiate. It'll give us 32 watts. And then it's got this quick charge 3.0, which um, looks like it's got PD demand on it. At 5 volts, 17 watts. And at 9 volts, 30 watts so they're very close uh, 30 watts 32 watts uh, for those 
Here's the specifications in the instruction manual. And they're pretty much the same thing as what's printed on the unit itself. Just a little bit more uh, detail given here and there. And between this and the uh, numbers printed on the box, you've got full information. So, something changed. Uh, maybe it was just the amount of time it took to negotiate it. So now I'm up on 99 watts on that upper left one. Let's check the other ones again to see if, if it's kicked up. Okay, sure enough, after about a minute of just sitting there staring at it at 63, 62 watts, it has now jumped up to 99 watts. Okay, so that makes me feel better about this. Okay, testing of the three car port cigarette lighter sockets uh, was good. You can see that they are flowing up into this 100 watt solar input on my power station. And the maximum that I can get out of that is 100 watts. And you can see that it is giving the uh, 99 watts up there. And it just took a couple seconds for that to negotiate and um, jump up to the 100 watts. But once the uh, MPPT port recognized it, and they jumped up quick to the 99 watts there. So I'm sure that all three of these could supply the 120 watts needed for a diesel heater and probably the full 200 watts that they're rated for 15 amp on these. Um, so that is the three carport cigarette lighters tested good. And actually a little bit uh, higher supply source than any other carport socket I've seen. Okay, so I guess that test is a success for this uh, device here. Looks like a pretty nice device. Um, and just one other thing I want to show is that it's got these other input and output here. Input, output. Um, so right here I've just got, it supplied me this Anderson 50 amp uh, connection that I, goes to a battery. But you could also take this thing here and uh, plug this in to some source, a power station or a battery. And then you could have a battery and plug it in here. So it's being fed, your DC block could be being fed from two things, a battery and a power station all at the same time. And because it's an input output, that would be a good way to use this to automatically uh, balance, your, um, balance your battery with your power station. Okay, for the wrap-up, what I liked and didn't like about this 12-volt power box. First off, it's really well constructed. I didn't really talk about it, but it's extremely solid, and the cables are uh, good sizes. So we'll start down here with the uh, power cables, uh, solid, and they have a great connection with the 50-amp Anderson port. Uh, the fact that you've got an input-output, here and here and at the end of this cable all three for 50 amp is fantastic the fact that it has a 50 amp circuit breaker that auto resets to protect power supplies plugged into there another fantastic in fact it's got a 30 amp internal fuse to protect the cigarette ports great up here at the top we've got four standard USB-A that's nice having four of them plenty to power all your small devices uh, it's got a nice voltmeter uh, which you know I turned off because it looks weird on the video but voltmeter is nice to be able to see what the status is and then it's got this light uh, here that you can turn to three different settings again real nice the case itself is thick and strong great up here at the top, the cigarette ports, really good. 15 amp, which is five more amps than most of them are rated. So you'll be able to flow uh, 180 to 200 watts or so on those out of a, a, a standard lithium battery. Plenty to run, almost anything you'd want, but certainly a Chinese diesel heater out of those, which is hard to find a port on a lot of power stations that'll do that. You could also run a uh, diesel heater out of these input outputs down below 50 amp flow it lets you feed a dc fuse box out of this thing if you wanted to again great the qc 3.0 port over here is uh, 30 watts total and that gives you a, a 
quick charge 3.0 I guess that's decent the one thing I didn't like that good on it was the PD 18 watt port here now that thing supplied 35 watts for me um, which was enough for probably uh, charging laptops that aren't that power hungry and certainly fast charging phones or anything but the most it will negotiate is 9 volts up to 35 watts and those things you know on a power station like this with the 50 amp flow there's no reason they couldn't have put a PD100 in there uh, and you would have been able to supply everything out of this one box so that may be, not be enough to uh, get a good supply for a laptop which is the only really thing missing on this 35 watts you'll have to know what your laptop limits are so overall I'm gonna give this a big thumbs up plus uh, I like it it can really provide a single uh, power distribution from a battery or from a power station and be everything that you need for outlets for DC in a uh, small truck camper $90 I think it's a good deal and particularly with its uh, protection on fusing and circuit breakers I think it's worth it if you got anything out of this video I'd appreciate a thumbs up help me out on that if you enjoy the content consider subscribing thanks for watching the video with me